I don't like the word nigger. I never like the word nigger. I mean, it was a word that was spawned out of hate, which is not good, so it shouldn't really be used by anybody, but I feel like if it's going to be used, everybody should be able to use it. I personally don't. That answer? Well, you know, sometimes if I'm with my friends, I'll be like, yeah, I was having a fast food, enjoy it. It's, okay. it's common, it's normal to me. So you use it a lot? Yes, every day. Every day? To so your, your brothers? Yeah, here? every day. I don't think it's right for people to look down on themselves like that. We do use the word. Yeah, I've never used the word, although in songs, I remember growing up hearing it. Have you used the word yourself? Unfortunately, yes, I have. The word is just, it's negative. Like, they try to put a positive spin. You can't put a positive spin on something negative. They none of us niggas, we're human beings. There's no color. There's no white. There's no black. There's nothing. I can hear it on videos and stuff like that. And I just, I'm like, how can you not be offended? Sometimes, yes, I do. I don't even lie. I can't lie and say I don't. I love that word. It's like what Paul Moody said. I said it, say it 20, 20 times every morning. It makes my teeth white. Unfortunately, I had a uh, second husband that used it frequently. I probably used it three times a year. I started getting older, getting to high school, hanging like I fell into like, the wrong crowd of people. They used it so much that like it like grew on to me. And now when I'm trying to stop, like it's really hard. And you've never used it yourself? Nope. But I use it all the time, my nigga. <laughs> you know that you know that I grew up like that. Excuse me. How you doing? My name is Frank Harris III. I'm a professor from Connecticut and I'm interviewing people across America about their first or most memorable experience with the N-word. My lord. You could tell me your name, please. Uh, Dwayne Robinson. And how old are you, sir? I'll be 70 September. Oh, you look good for 70. Uh, yeah. Thank you. And this is Buckstop Gunning Park. What is your first experience with the N-word? I don't hear it too often today, you know. I mean, but, but your I, first time hearing it ever in your life. Well, I guess when I was young. From? Yeah. From birth, I guess, from when I got old enough to hear it. All right. Yeah. And did you use you use the word yourself? I have. Okay. Okay, years ago. I don't know where nobody it ain't. Okay. So why, did, why did, do you still use it? No, sir. I, 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 uh, I'm born again Christian. I believe God created everybody equal. I know what I am. And how do you define yourself? That I am a nigga. 
You are a nigga? Can you describe the first time that you heard the word nigger and... Oh, when I was a good girl growing up, that's all I heard. Even when I was growing up, I didn't like the word. Because most of the say was white people. Probably in high school. That's probably where I first heard it, in high school, from another student. It was a mostly white people. I had maybe two black people in my high school when I was growing up. Most likely I was a kid, first time hearing it and saying it. I think I just grew up with it. It was everywhere. I grew up in working class parts of Detroit and Chicago, and race was toxic. Race was fire, and um, the N-word, nigger, was everywhere. Yeah, on the streets of Canton in 1964 or five, I remember people, white people, yelling, nigger, 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 you know, that, that young people who were picketing or you know, trying to register to vote. I was called a nigger lover uh, or a white nigger. In the mid to early 70s, my sister and I went to a charger game with my father. We At the end of the game, these four white guys was following my father out the game calling me the N-word, calling us the N-word, I should say. I was maybe about 10, 11 years old. My father told us to, he said, run and lock yourself in the van. My father had one of those belts that had the two uh, buckle things. He took the belt off, wrapped it around his fist, and commenced to try to kill them dudes. A lot of people, of my friends, they use it in school, and I hear it outside of school too. During lunchtime, we were all waiting to get into the cafeteria, and they were they were just saying it like was it, it was black, white. Yeah, or they were they were black. I can think of maybe uh, uh, when the Ku Klux Klan's was and stuff like that used to come through our town and burn down the churches and kill our black young men. I grew up in India, born and raised. Uh, my first experience was this little comic strip that I got that they give you to get ready to come to a different country and it was just like little etiquettes and one of the comic things was don't call a black person the n-word. I probably never heard of it until I was exposed to American popular culture and specific uh, probably black movies and black hip hop. I must have been about three or four years old. I was telling my father about this story that happened. We were waiting at the grocery store for my grandfather to come out. And my uncle pointed out a group of people that were African American. And he referred to them with this Italian equivalent for the N word. And I had never heard it before. He had me repeat the word over and over again. What is the word? Uh, so when I got home, you know, he said, Tell your father what you learned. And I said, Daddy, we saw, and my father lost it. I said, don't, don't you ever, ever teach my daughter these things. And it's not a word she should ever be using. You know, the whole nine, you know, more colorful language, obviously. But his reaction stayed with me. And I knew that there was a stigma. I knew that that was unacceptable. I knew immediately at like three years old that what I had said, what he had taught me, was hateful. Wow. I think my, my most memorable maybe my first time was a three-year-old with, with his with his mama and he and i was walking in the store and this three-year-old said mama there's a there's a mama there's a nigger there's a nigger i'm going what and what you know it's like i was shocked by the fact that 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 and it, but you know what it said to me it said to me that uh, somebody's doing some deep teaching this child to be able to know that kind of language at that particular time. Trickle, trickle. How I want to you.
would like to ask the person when they use this word, do you know the meaning of this word? A lot of people say that word, don't even know what it means. That's just like saying, boy, you're not equal, you know what I mean? You're nothing. In the communal, general meaning of the word, as my friend, my brother, my sister. My understanding was coming from the African area, you know, Nigerian stuff. There were two people fighting, they're calling themselves, and I said, what is nigger? And they said, you call Nigeria? And they said, no. And the white people called the black people before. That word is a word that, that was used by racist back in the old south before it was actually put as as being something that's that's derogatory to, to a black person um it's just it just means an ignorant person and it actually derives from the english nobles calling the english peasants niggas <laughs> I grew up in Alabama. I was among the only Asian Americans there. And I remember first hearing the word used by white folks, and I did not know what the word meant. I remember white people saying it amongst themselves. They laughed a lot, like really, really hard. <laughs> A, a group of mixed race friends and a friend of mine was bragging about they had made me some good money and I said nigga you work for UPS everybody stopped talking and a, a white friend of mine said if you ever say that again I will personally kick your ass and my particular friend that I said it to as, as a joke that night gave me the cold shoulder now after that we never mentioned it again We've, we're still great friends but that night, it was like, it was, it was a tough lesson. It was like, you crossed the line. My neighborhood friends played football um, every day after school. Uh, during one game, uh, one of the kids and I had an argument over some play. I can't remember what, the, what it was over. And the uh, argument continued that next day at the, in the classroom, in the cafeteria. We're going back and forth, and he just called me a nigger. Just, uh, you know, I, can, I couldn't believe it. And he was, a, I thought that he was a friend of mine. You know, he'd invited me to his house in the past. I was good friends with his brother. We sat on a school bus together. And uh, for him to call me a nigger like that, it just it blew my mind. And my parents always told me they never fear words and uh, words can't hurt you. But I just said, hell no. I just took the milk he was drinking and poured it over his head. And I haven't talked to him since. You know, and it's awkward because I still see this guy now and then. He lives in the same town I live in. And I see him occasionally. I don't even look him in the eye. But it's just, it's weird that uh, I, I still see him and I, 
I don't know if he, he knows about it, but uh, he's really he really affected me that day. You know. I personally don't use it because I still feel like it should not be used at all. Whether it just be because you know you're just hanging out with friends or not being offensive about it, or especially not if you were trying to say it in an offensive way. Do you have any thoughts about black people when they use the word and, and and this thing that whites cannot use the word? Yeah, you know, that kind of bothers me. I have uh, I represent a lot of people of color. I have black friends, and I'll, I'll, I'll hear them refer to one another as a nigger in an affectionate sort of way. It's not a line that I would dream of crossing, but when I hear it used as a term of affection, I wish I could use it that way, too. Mm -hmm. Like, I don't know why it's a double standard, but if a uh, white guy do call you a nigga, even though he may mean it in love, it's still not used that way because the word was used so harshly. Well, I understand, I mean, the white people did take black people and yeah. enslave them and all that and gave them that terrible name, but I feel like a racial slur is, should be the same towards everyone. I'm so used to hearing it from black people. I've actually heard it a few times from white folks. You know, you get that from the Confederate flag waving folks. It's not fun. As a word itself, it really doesn't phase me. It does phase me for when it's not a person of color. Any Caucasian person, it bothers me. Have you ever had a white person call you that before? No. What would you do if a white person said it? Depending on the time, the way he's trying to use it, you can usually tell when he, when he said it. Um, if it was in a derogative way, then I would most likely be ready to fight. I would take that as disrespect. <laughs> I mean, I have black friends and black people in my family as well, so, I mean, I hear it, I don't exactly like it, but, I mean, it's just a word that gets used a lot. Have you used the word before? Yeah, just usually with my friends, like, joking around. White friends, black friends? Both. And they are, the black friends are okay with it? Yeah. I leave a little slack for, for other minorities, but, but black, I, I really can only accept it from my black friends. Each black was calling each other nigger, and Albert called him over and wanted to come here. He said, now, you tell me what the difference in y'all calling each other nigger, and if Mr. Mike called you a nigger. They said, well, well, it's different. And Albert said, what's the difference? He said, well, he's white. And Albert said, well, you know, it's the same word. And, you know, well, it's it just different. <laughs> Given that it was such a powerfully negative word, it was a surprise to me that I would ever hear that word again, ever, and even in a positive connotation. So I was shocked. Growing up, it was more of a term of endearment, and so I utilized it in the music. I started having different feelings of it as I got older, especially writing them in the records, and then you go to the shows, and you hear uh, everybody else screaming it out in, in the audience. I use the word myself. I listen to rap music, so if I'm hearing Jay-Z or Kanye, let's say it. Like I sing along with songs where like, I listen to rap music a lot, and a lot of rap music obviously uses the N-word. When I'm singing the songs, you know, I, I use it. But what I've come to realize is that it's just, it's an evolution. And I just think like, just in general, I don't want to be trapped by a word. I don't want a word to actually have power over me. Do you still use the word? Definitely. Why do you still use the word? Though? I think it's more of a habit. And actually, you know, when you have a conversation, sometimes it comes out. I think it comes out more in my mouth when I'm upset than anything. And, just, and I think it's more of a habit. But, um, you know, old habits die hard. Did you ever call, use the word nigger to, to refer to another black person? No, I never called him either. Why not? Folks, I just didn't think it was right. I think it's totally disrespectful. The youngsters now uh, that utilize the word, they don't understand the significance of it, on how people died with people yelling that word while their bodies were swinging on trees. I don't necessarily agree that it's disrespectful, depending on how you're using it, who you're using it to, but I wouldn't say it in front of them. You use the word? Why not? Oh, uh, just don't use it. I use, if I know your name, that's what I use. 
Oh, okay. You know what I'm saying? Right. <laughs> now, what are your name? Frank. Okay. Now, your name is Frank. What would I look like calling you Nick? I was at a school, and when I walked up on the step at 8 o'clock that morning, I heard the N-word being discussed, black and white. So when I did my presentation, I, I, said, I said to the audience, I said, well, before I start this presentation, if there's a nigger in the building, stand up. All the black kids stood up. Every morning. I have my experience just like you have yours. You can't tell me what to do with mine just like I can't tell you what to do with yours. Now, of course you're older, but that doesn't make your blackness more valid than mine. I'm just as black as you. We go through struggles. They might not be the same, but they're equally as valid. So, yeah, I just believe, you know, if you don't want to if you don't want to use the word, then don't use it. Don't worry about what I'm saying. I think young kids use it as a term of endearment. They try to neuter the word by kind of reversing it and saying, you know, the white man called us a nigga, so we know it's a hurtful word, but we're gonna get back at him in so many ways by saying that it don't really mean that, so we're gonna call each other nigga. You know, certain places, especially, um, it's not tolerated, even amongst blacks. Like what places? Uh, prison. A lot of the older brothers enforce that. You don't say that. How did panther members refer to each other? As black people. Did they ever use the N-word? Did, did the word nigger? No, that was not a commonly used word. Why was it not? Because we didn't feel that it was ever used in a respectful way. It comes out of the history of slavery and Jim Crow and was a taunt even during the time of the Civil Rights Movement um, to put Negroes in their place. And so it was often used in community around us as a friendly term. That's my nigga, you know, that nigga over there. Oh, you know, that nigga stay around the way. Um, like that. And it wasn't as if that wasn't what we used before we joined the Black Panther Party, but we were believed in respectfully treating ourselves and others because we've been so disrespected. And it's a form of internalized racism, I feel, to use the word in reference to other black people. Young blacks began to use it affectionately and kind of in opposition to the way it was used for by whites. A part of me thought, that's okay. On the other hand, it's too tension laden and it carries with it a uh, a kind of um, message that can be misunderstood too easily. And so using it affectionately, I would think it's not a good idea. Better not to use the word at all. Their opinion is their opinion. You are not a nigga. You know? When I was growing up down south, you hear all kinds of names, niggas, and mostly niggas. That's what you would call down south, a nigga. You know, white people would come around and say, hey, nigga, and I thought nothing about it. I thought I was a nigga. So I used to answer to the word.
Lots of times, it's not with the ER sound. It's with the GA sound. And that's like my buddy, my friend, you know, my pal, something like that there in terms of endurance. You know, like when they speak to each other now, they say, what up, my nigga? But it's different. It's a different tone. Like the word there, there, and there. It's three of them. They all mean something different, although they sound the same. So you do use the term nigger and nigger? I would use the GA sound. So it does make a difference to you? It does. Like if you hear somebody say say it with the ER, it still has that sting to it. Like, you're trying to get me upset or you're you talking to me. But when you hear the GA sound, nobody even pays any attention. One of the things that makes me uncomfortable when I see white Americans admonish black Americans for using the word is that it's once again white people supposing that young black, particularly young black Americans or any black American who uses it isn't smart enough to know that when they adopt it and use it as an A, that they're, it's being transformed. Because sometimes you can say nigga and depending upon who you're saying it to or your tone in which you're saying it, like it can be something completely different from, hey, what's going on, my friend? And it could be like, you know, get out my way, I'm really mad at you. And they both can end in A. So yeah. they that, both can end in A. Right. And you know, when you have the E R right. on it, you know, it it's very it's a very aggressive word with the E R. Not necessarily. It's well, the tone because I I can you could say call somebody to be in a nigger. Like and it's not as angry as Hey, you nigger. Personally, N-I-G-G-A is uh, N-I-G-G-E-R. Still. And it's still the same thing. Just amongst my own sort of everyday conversation, like, oh, yeah, hey, nigga, what's up, my nigga? Like, you know, and this inner city, I think, is almost as uh, perpetuated as a homage to your hood or you feel a, a sense of belonging. about 15 and I saw this man leave the office and come down to and into the uh, compress. Ailes of Cotton was stored there. He came and said he'd gotten permission to get his nigger. And he pulled out a 25 automatic and went and got the guy by the hand and gave him a push. And all the way down the ramp, he pushed the guy with one hand just to let him know he better keep moving. It was probably one of the saddest things that I'd ever seen with a human being treating another human being. You know, I take it really as love. 
you know, in my generation, we call each other niggas. You know what I'm saying? We say my nigga. I mean, it's not, that's not hate. That's really saying that you accept it. It's saying that you're original. I grew up in that generation of, of niggas. I mean, in this day and time, I don't see it as being that important, you know, for us, because we took the sting out of that. It has nothing to do with black people exclusively anymore. The word nigger means a certain kind of person that has nothing to do with color.
the light of his own. Everybody says it. I've heard white people say it, Asian people, Korean people say it. You, you, you hear it on TV, you hear it in music, you hear it in comedy, comedy uh, skits. So I think it's already have generated a light of his own. issue obviously when I started like when I quoted back with in that story he used the n-word and so um, how do you you know how do you handle that well sometimes you just avoid using you know but sometimes you're trying to show here's the word they used so our policy here is to dash it or it's like in and then dash it like we would a curse word It's not just a matter of uh, it not being polite to say nigger in public. That's not the measure of whether racism still exists or not. I also have a little bit of problem with people who hide from the term they use the n-word but there are times when for example when I was entering the University of Georgia people weren't calling me the n-word they were calling me nigger and when I read or talk to students today I can't say they call me the n-word they called me nigger and I think when you put it in context it's perfectly acceptable to use the term I told him from the first day, first meeting we had of the year, in the, in the beginning of the year, we sat down. I told him there's no forms of the N word being used with the ER, with the A, any form of that word, the root word is it's just a negative word, it's a hateful, hurtful word, and it, all it does is promote hate. If they do say it, I do punish them and uh, have them run. And also, coaches allow people to say the N word. I just don't think it's appropriate. It's, it may be friendlier if African Americans use the term. It may be just as demeaning as it is when a white person uses the term. I don't care about the color of the lips that the word falls out of.
And then he went in the store and asked for Luke to give him a gun to come out there so he could kill him like son of a bitch. So we're, we're sitting there having dinner. It may have been breakfast, I don't remember. And a car pulls up outside. It was a 57 Plymouth, I remember this. And a couple of young black guys get out and they come over towards the door. And Mo sees them and he reaches under the counter and he pulls out a handgun. I'm you know, not used to this. And he puts it in his belt and he goes over and he stands by the door when they come to enter the restaurant. They open the door and he basically says, you know, that's far enough. And, and they say, well, we, we've just come in to, uh, to eat. And he makes it very clear to them that uh, they ain't coming in his restaurant. And I remember him putting his hand on the butt of the gun while he was staring at them and, and telling them that they, they couldn't come in. The, the place was absolutely silent. You know, four Northern boys, you know, sitting there, uh, me and my three friends, uh, uh, you know, wondering, what the hell is gonna happen? And the two guys standing at the door, they basically said, well, maybe a, another time, to which he responded, but I don't think so. And and they they left, I remember, they sat in the car for a minute or so. He, he stood in the door with that gun in his belt, very, very evident, until they started the car and then they, they drove away. And then, then, then the, the, the rest of some of the guys, some of his pals, you know, were laughing. And I remember Mo saying, you know, it'll, it'll be a cold day in hell or over my dead body before I let, let a nigger in this place. I can remember when I was quite young, my sister and brother were twins and they were playing out in the yard. I was about two years old. Two white boys passed and they had slingshots. And once she, shot my sister in the eye and put it out. What do you think about the older folks who are offended by it? Obviously, it would affect them different because of the times that they come up in. You know, as far as older folks and how they feel about it, I mean, I'm sure they got their reasons. Often they would tell us uh, lynching that happened in that same vicinity. So that night they came through with the car. His body was on a rope and was scanned all around the neighborhood. After they dragged him, they put the body on the First Baptist Church steps. And he burned it. You ran from a tree, but I'll never stop with me.
I don't like the word nigga. I never like the word nigga. I'm sure they got the reasons. I'm sure they got the reasons. The reasons. The reasons. The reasons.